vous connaissez ça, toi Ok. Uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the time now is 11 a.m. Let us rise for the national anthem. Thank you. The quorum required by Article 13 of the company's Articles of Association is two members present in person or proxy. Can the registrar confirm that quorum has been formed? Registrars Limited, Registrar to Dangote Cement PLC. We have nine shareholders attending in person and 746 shareholders attending by proxy with a total of 15,223,169,000 308 shareholding representing 89.3352% of the issued and fully paid off shares of the company. With this information, we hereby confirm that a quorum has been duly formed. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. James Coles. The meeting is therefore duly convened and properly constituted. Accordingly, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the 13th Annual General Meeting of our company, which I now declare open. One of our directors, Alaji Saini Dangote, passed away during there, and also we lost our former uh, group managing director, Mr. Joseph, Engineer Joseph Makoju, during there. In view of their passing, let us observe a moment of silence, and also we pray in our various faith. Thank you very much. May their gentle souls rest in public peace. Amen. Distinguished shareholders, in line with the guidelines of the Corporate Affairs Commission, I wish to inform you that this meeting is being held by proxy. Having obtained the approval of the Corporate Affairs Commission and the NGX Regulation Limited. However, with the easing of the COVID-19 safety protocols, we are looking forward to being able to resume physical annual general meetings. I wish to inform our distinguished shareholders that this meeting is being streamlined, uh, streamed live for the benefit of our shareholders, regulators, and others who are not physically present here. May I request that uh, uh, 
inji uh, malam ma uh, dr faru to give us an opening prayer please let, let us pray we pray to allah to guide us through this meeting to bless our company and uh, make us more profitable to uh, give us peace and stability in this country and we pray that by Allah's grace we will have a peaceful election in the coming year and we pray for good health for our chairman directors management and staff of Rangote Cement PLC Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifun Thank you very much, Dr. Farouk. There are eight items of business before you today. You all, you all have an opportunity to move or second each of the motions put to the meeting and make contributions as you wish. After that, an opportunity will be given for questions on each motion before a vote is taken. Please ensure that you raise your hand and receive approval before you speak. Microphones and amplifying equipment have been placed strategically so that everyone should be able to hear. Therefore, I request that you speak audibly and start by stating your names. The register of directors uh, shareholders is available for inspection during the meeting in compliance with section 301 subsection 8 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act. Before we proceed to the uh, formal matters on the agenda, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you the directors of your company. I'm Alaji Ali Kudangote. GCO on the chairman of your company. On, on my left is Mr. Marco, I mean Michelle Pachakos, the group managing director. Next to him is Mr. Olakule Alake. You are non executive director. We also have Ms. Halima Ali Kudangote. And Mr. Philip Matthew, your Deputy Group Managing Director, who were both appointed by the board post the 2020 annual general meeting and will be presented at this meeting for election. On my right is Ms. Edward Emodeme, the Deputy Company Secretary, who is here with us. Ms. Anis Ebi, MFR. Your independent non executive director, Mrs. Dorothy Udeme Offort, SAN, your independent non executive director, and Ms. Emmanuel Ikazebo, your independent non executive director. I would also like to introduce the members of the statutory audit committee, Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi, who is the chairman of the committee, Mr. Sheriff Yusuf Mojurola, and Mr. Nicholas Nyamali. In view of the ongoing COVID pandemic, our other directors are joining the meeting virtually. I'm therefore representing these directors. Nevertheless, I would like to introduce them to you. The other directors are Mr. Vishwanathan Shankar, Sir Michael Davis, Mr. Deva Kumar Edwin, Mrs. Sherry Blair, CBE, QC, Mr. Abdul Dantata, Mr. Dred Zorgoni, and uh, Ms. Belina Morol. I would also like to introduce the representative of NGS Regulation Limited, Mr. Ghost Time Ionekai. Uh, is, is he here? Okay, he's on his way. The Securities and Exchange Commission, who is representing the Anybody from securities? Okay, online. Then the Corporate Affairs Commission. They are also uh, our registrars.
Coronation Registrar's Limited, Mrs. Bukola James Co. Our independent auditors, KPMG Professional Services, is Mr. Goodluck Obi, who is here with us. The Corporate Affairs Commission had informed us that they may not be able to join the meeting physically, but will join us virtually. I also wish to introduce. Oh, are you here? Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. I also wish to introduce the shareholders who are present, who are also acting as proxies for the shareholders who cannot physically be present uh, due to the meeting protocol. They are Mr. Obina, Michael Ngosu. Thank you. Dr. Omar Paru, Mrs. B.C. Bakari, okay, and Mr. Nona Au. okay. I now call on Deputy Company Secretary to read notice of the meeting. Edward. Good morning, Chairman, distinguished directors, esteemed shareholders, ladies and gentlemen. Notice of annual general meeting. Notice is hereby given that the 13th annual general meeting of Dangote Cement PLC we hold on Tuesday, 14 June 2022, at Eco Hotel and Suites, Victoria Island, Lagos. Plot 1415, Ademola Adetukumba Street, Victoria Island at 11 a.m. to transact the following business. Ordinary business. To lay the audited financial statement for the year ended 31st December 2021 and the report of directors, auditors, and the audit committee thereon. To declare dividend. To elect and re-elect directors. To authorize directors to fix the remuneration of the audit auditors to elect shareholders representative of the statutory audit committee, to disclose the remuneration of managers, special business, to fix the remuneration of directors, to consider and if thought fit, pass the following resolution as special resolution, to cons the unissued share capital of the company be and are hereby counsel pursuant to section 124 Company and Allied Matter Act 2020 and Regulation 13 of the Company Regulation 2021. Following the recommendation of the Board of Directors and in line with Article 10 of the Company Memorandum and Article of Association, as well as compliance with Section 124 of the Company and Allied Matter Act 2020 and Regulation 13 of the Regulation of 2021, to cancel all unissued shares amounting to Two billion nine hundred and fifty nine million four hundred and ninety two thousand five hundred and ninety six shares of fifty cobo each and treasury share amounting to one hundred and sixty six million one hundred and forty eight thousand one hundred and fifty three shares of fifty cobo each. Pursuant to Article ten of the Company and Memorandum of Association and in Compliance with the requirement of Section 124 of the Company and Allied Matter Act 2020 and Regulation 13 of the Company Regulation 2021 to declare that the share capital of the company is 16,873,559,251 shares of 50 cover each. To amend Article 6 of the Memorandum and Article of Association of the company as follows. The share capital of the company is 8 billion 436 million 779 thousand 626 naira divided into 16 billion 873 million 555 thousand 251 ordinary share of 50 cover each to authorize the board of director of the company to take all necessary steps required to effect conciliation of the issues on issued share and treasury share in compliance with the external law and regulations. Note, preparation given by COVID, preparation given the COVID-19 pandemic, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, 
COVID-19 guideline for safe mass gathering in Nigeria and the guideline issued by the Corporate Affairs Commission on holding annual general meeting using process. The company have obtained the approval of the CAC to hold the AGM by process. The company has taken various steps to ensure that the safety of attendees are compliant with these guidelines. This includes the provision of sanitizers, masks, globes at the venue, as well as checking of temperature and ensuring social distancing between attendees. Prozics. Attendance by, at the AGM shall be by proxy because of the COVID-19 pandemic and in compliance with the regulation approvals to hold the meeting by proxy. A proxy form is included in the annual report. A member has the right to appoint a proxy or projects from the list below to attend that vote instead of him. The proxy need not be a member of the company. All instruments of proxy must be deposited at the register office of the company, number one, Afrerwani Road or to the registrar, number nine, Amwadu Ojokutu, Victoria Island, not later than 48 hours before the time of holding the meeting. All instruments of process shall be at the company's expense. A member entitled to attend a vote at AGM is advised to select the following process to attend a vote in his state. Alaji Ali Kodangote, GCON, Mr. Olakunle Alake, Emmanuel Kazobo, Michel Poshakos, Obina Michael Wosu, Mrs. B.C. Bakari, Dr. Mafarouk, and Nona Awo. Closure of register. Notice is hereby given that the register of member and the transfer of book of the company will be closed on the 30th of, 31st of May 2022. Payment of dividend. If the shareholder approve the dividend recommended by the director at the annual general meeting, Dividend will be paid on the 15th of June to the shareholder whose name are registered in the company register of member at the close of business on the 30th of May 2022. A list of unclaimed dividend is available on the company's website www.dangotecement.com. Shareholder with unclaimed dividend, share certificate, or unclaimed dividend should address their claim to the registrar. Corona Coronation Registrar Limited. At number nine, Amodu Ojokutu, Victoria Island, Lagos. Or use the link below to complete the shareholder e mandate processing form. E-dividend registration. Notice is hereby given to all shareholders to open bank accounts, stockbroking account, and CSCS account to receive dividend payment el electronically. Detachable e-mandate activation form is included in the annual report to enable shareholders to provide their details to the registrar. Nomination to the audit committee. In accordance with the, comp in accordance with the companies and allied matter degree 2020, act 2020, a shareholder may nominate another shareholder or appoint a member of the audit committee by giving notice to the company secretary at least 21 days before the annual general meeting. Right of security holder to ask questions. Security holder can ask questions at the annual general meeting or a writing before the meeting. Questions should be submitted to the company secretary at the company register office up to two days before the annual general meeting. Streaming. Annual general meeting will be streamed from live live from our website www.dangodecement.com or our YouTube channel www.youtube.dangote.com slash dangote group. Online participation of shareholders via electronic platform. platform. Shareholders who intend to attend the meeting virtually are required to register by visiting hhp slash slash appcoronationregister.com slash Agree registration. Kindly be informed that shareholder will be required to provide their registered email address in completing the accreditation. Upon successful accreditation, an email with a unique link for attending the meeting will be sent to the registered email of the respective shareholders. Accreditation process open on the 3rd of June 2022 by order of the board. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Emil Demier. Uh, before we move to item one 
on the agenda, let me present to you the chairman's statement, which is, uh, which is uh, contained on pages 14 uh, to 15 in the annual report and accounts already being circulated. Do you agree that we should take it as read? All right, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, distinguished uh, shareholders. There are, eight, uh, there are eight agenda items to be deliberated on today. Pursuant to the Companies and Allied Matters Act, I hereby demand a poll on all items on the agenda apart from item five and six. Please note that voting for the resolution in respect of each agenda item will be carried out electronically. A shareholder has been given a voting device and the result will be displayed online for all those attending virtually to view. I will now invite the registrar to provide an explanation about the electronic voting. The registrar, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Here's a brief description of the voting process. Having gotten requisite approvals to hold a meeting by proxy, we have captured a total of 746 shareholders' voting details received by proxy and holding 15 billion 195 million 320,344 units representing 89.17% of the issued share capital. Hence, the voting results will be displayed in addition to the votes that will be cast here today. For shareholders that have been given a voting device, please note that it has been configured to represent your shareholding in Dangote Cement PLC. After the resolutions have been read, the shareholders are supposed to cast their votes in line with their voting decisions. Your respective voting devices have several buttons. The button one with an A is going to be for a yes vote. The button two with a B is for a no vote. And the button C with, a, with the button three with a C is for an abstain vote. Once the voting has commenced, please press the reference button in accordance with your decision or choice and note that each shareholder can change their votes during the voting period. But once the voting period has ended, the last button you pressed will be recorded as your votes. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. James Cole. Uh, we will now move to item one on the agenda. As I am sure that you agree, you have heard the report and accounts for the period ended December 31st, 2021 for the request at three period. I would now like to formally lay before the meeting the annual reports and accounts, including the audited financial statement for the year ended 31st December 2021, together with the reports of the directors, auditors, uh, of the directors, auditors, and statutory audit committee thereon. I will now ask a representative of the auditors to read report of the auditors, which is on page 95 to 99 of the annual reports and accounts. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, and distinguished shareholders. Auditor's report can be found on pages 95 to 99, as announced by the chairman. May I crave the indulgence of the chairman and distinguished shareholders to take certain aspects of the report as read, and I will go ahead to read some other relevant sections. Is that okay? Yes. Thank you, sir. Independent auditor's report to the shareholders of the Dangote Cement PLC. Report on the audit of the consolidated and separate financial statements. Opinion. We have audited the consolidated and separate financial statements of Dangote's main PLC, the company, and its subsidiaries, together the group, which comprise the consolidated and separate statements of financial position as at 31st December 2021, the consolidated and separate statements of profit or loss, 
the consolidated and separate statements of comprehensive income, the consolidated and separate statements of changes in equity, the consolidated and separate statements of cash flows for the year then ended, and the notes comprising significant accounting policies and other explanatory information. In our opinion, the accompanying consolidated and separate financial statements give a true and fair view of the consolidated and separate financial position of the company and its subsidiaries as at 31st December 2021 and of its consolidated and separate financial performance and its consolidated and separate cash flows for the year then ended in accordance with international financial reporting standards, IFRS, and in the manner required by the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Kama 2020, and the Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria Act 2011. Key audit matters are as shown on pages 96 and 97. I will go, then I will then go to page 99, the last paragraph on page 99. Reports on other legal and regulatory requirements. Compliance with the requirements of Schedule 5 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Kama 2020. We have obtained all the information and explanations which to the best of our knowledge and belief we are necessary for the purpose of the audit. In our opinion, proper books of account have been kept by the company so far as appears from our examination of those books. The company's statement of financial position, statement of profit or loss, and statement of comprehensive income are in agreement with the books of account. Signed by myself on behalf of KPMG. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Obi. In accordance with, uh, in accordance with uh, the Companies and Allied Matters Act, the statutory audit committee duly carried out their duties as required on the accounts for the period ended December 31st, uh, 31st December 2020. I now ask the chairman of the statutory audit committee, Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi, to read the statutory audit uh, committee's report on page 92 of the annual reports and accounts. Mr. Robert Odiachi. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, members of the board, uh, my fellow distinguished shareholders. Um, I now present to you the report of the statutory audit committee of our company. In accordance with section 4047 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, comma, 2020, section 30.4 of the SEC code, the members of the statutory audit committee of Dangote Cement PLC hereby report as follows. We have exercised our statutory functions under section 4047 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, comma, 2020, and we acknowledge the cooperation of the board, management, and staff of the, in the conduct of these responsibilities. After careful consideration of the report of the external auditors, we accepted the report that the financial statement gave a true and fair view of the state of the group and company's financial affairs as at the 31st December 2021. We confirm that, one, the accounting and reporting policies of the group and company are in accordance with legal and regulatory requirements, as well as agreed ethical practices. Two, we reviewed the scope and planning of audit requirements and found them adequate. Three, we reviewed the findings on the management letter prepared by the external auditors and found management responses to the findings satisfactory. Four, the accounting and internal control system is constantly and effectively being monitored through an effective internal audit function. Five, we made recommendations to the board on the appointment and remuneration of the external auditors and also reviewed the provision made in the financial statements for the remuneration of the external auditors. Six, we consider that the external auditors are independent and qualified to perform the duties effectively. 
The committee therefore recommends that the audited financial statements for the year ended 31st December 2021 and the external auditor's report thereon be presented for adoption at the annual general meeting. Signed by me, Robert Adeo Diachi. On behalf of other members of the statutory audit committee, Mr. Alakule Alake, Mr. Ernest Ebi, Mr. Nicholas Nyamali, and Sharif Yusuf. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Robert Adeo uh, I will be pleased to answer questions which you may have on the reports and uh, accounts before we proceed to the next item of business. Are there questions before? I mean, go ahead. Okay. Dr. Baruch. Uh, is Dr. Baruch, I called first. By, oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'll call you next. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Chairman, Directors of Nangwate Cement PLC, our regulators, staff and management of the company. Uh, Mr. Chairman, my name is Dr. Farooq Umar, President Association for the Advancement of the Rights of Nigerian Shareholders. Uh, Mr. Chairman, let me begin by commending the Secretariat for the annual report. Mr. Chairman, it is highly detailed and uh, there are innovations uh, that really other companies should uh, emulate uh, from this uh, account. Uh, Mr. Chairman, let me begin by condoling you and all the stakeholders in this company for the loss of our brother, Sani Dangote, who has uh, contributed a lot towards the development of this company. We pray to Allah to bless him with Al Jannah, and uh, we hope and pray that uh, Allah will uh, widen his grave put a lot of light in it and uh, bless his children and whatever he has left behind. Also, Mr. Chairman, the loss of Makoju came as a shock to most of us. Again, uh, we have lost two uh, people who have contributed toward the development of this company. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I want to also commend the company for the strong growth we have in Africa. We are in 10 countries, and all the countries are making uh, profit. In the uh, CEO's uh, report, he has in particular commended Senegal for the uh, social uh, responsibility project uh, they had regarding the educational sector. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, if you see our profit after tax of 364 billion, which has gone up by 32 percent, Mr. Chairman, with all the COVID and the uh, economic situation in the country, we have to commend the effort of the management and the board. Uh, given the inflation we have in this country, which is about 17% uh, shareholders of this company who are getting 20 Naira, Mr. Chairman, we are really uh, grateful to the company. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I want to also... Uh, I think, sorry, Doctor, I don't know, something is wrong with the microphone because we can't hear. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, can you hear me now? I think it's the, well, the, the echo, but it's okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I also uh, want to commend the board for bringing Halima on this board. This is long overdue, Mr. Chairman. 
but because of the regulatory requirement that two members, not more than two members of the family would be on a board. That's why we have not recommended her coming on the board in the past because we had uh, uh, our brother Sani Dangote. But Mr. Chairman, uh, this brings me to the issue of uh, succession planning for our company. I hope and pray that the fact that we now have 27% women representation on the board, Mr. Chairman, I hope and trust one day we will see Halima as the president of this uh, company. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I also want to ask you, how are we doing with the energy crisis in this country? Uh, it appears that our profitability is uh, being affected by lack of electricity in the country. Maybe, Chairman, you should uh, comment on this. And uh, again, Mr. Chairman, we have seen uh, cement companies expanding. Uh, how is that going to affect the overall uh, price of cement uh, in the country? Finally, Mr. Chairman, I also commend you for the corporate governance uh, structure you have put in place for the excellent attendance of directors at uh, board uh, meetings, board and committee meetings. But Mr. Chairman, I just have one observation. If you go to page 81, you will see that we have four odd, uh, board committees, finance and investment, technical and sustainability, and audit risk and compliance, and remuneration governance, and nomination. Now, Mr. Chairman, for good corporate governance, the same members of finance committee, at least uh, four of them, uh, Alake, David, Edwin, and Zagwani, are the same members on the technical and sustainability committee. Mr. Chairman, with Halima coming on board, I am sure you have to restructure the committees and I hope you will look into this. And also, if you look at the audit risk and compliance committee, the same members, Ikaziebo, Obi, and Blair, are also the same members, except that there is addition. Uh, Emmanuel, uh, Ikaziebo, Obi, and Blair are also the same members on remuneration governance and nomination committee. And I've also uh, observed that Alaji Audu Dantata is only on our committee. Mr. Chairman, you may want to look at this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Farouk. Okay, Nona. Do I, I can answer some of your questions. You know, yes, you know, with power, you're right, we have uh, a lot of challenges with the gas. But I'm sure, you know, we're trying to sort out that. But, you know, uh, we're also trying to increase our capacity in other, you know, uh, areas. Uh, we're doing quite a lot in alternative uh, fuel, you know. Uh, so hopefully by within the year, we'll be able to achieve quite, uh, you know, a lot. In terms of additions of capacity, we too will be looking forward to increasing our own capacity because Nigeria needs additional about 3 million tons you know, annually. So I you know with cement plants, you just don't go and start building in one day, so it takes time. So definitely we'll also look into uh, that. On the committees, we will, you know, at the board level, uh, look at how to, you know, what's best, you know, for your company in terms of either restructuring the some of the committees and uh, adding some, uh, you know, members or juggling the uh, members around. So we'll look into that. Thank you, Nona. The 
the chairman, other members of the board, very distinguished fellow shareholders. Chairman, I'm sure you can hear me. Yes. The reason you didn't hear Farouk, he was a super delegate, and the microphone has recognized he's going around those. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that for another day, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> super delegate. <laughs> Chairman, on page 164, which has to do with the five-year summary of the company, two things stand out for me as an investor. Uh, first is that for the third consecutive years, uh, the bottom line has gone up, and that's also by extension meant that the earnings have also gone up. But if you then look at how this is interpreted in other pages, uh, in particular looking at page 147, 179, 53 and 65, it then means that there is a challenge. Uh, because we are paying dividend from that particular earning, and looking at page 53 in particular, you find that the dividend has been on decline. That has also brought the challenge of unclaimed dividend. Yes, I read in this report that says that you have the names on the website. I think it's beyond that. Because one of the things I know you are tempted not to want to do is to take other people's money. But when we begin to have unclaimed dividend and they become increasingly status bar, that creates a burden for me, and I'm sure the same for you. Uh, so I'll be hoping that going forward, it is not that we are paying dividend alone should be our target. Is that how do we make sure that the dividend that is paid is also delivered and received from those persons? There are quite a number of things we can do, and I hope that the company secretary, the deputy company secretary in particular, working with the registrar, will also find a way around how we can identify perennial non-dividend collecting shareholders and see how. So, mm. are the, dividend, yes. are the other, what are the other companies doing in terms of uh, getting the unclaimed dividend? Because, I mean, it's the job of the registrars to do that. No, no, it's not just the job of the registrar. If we have investor relation officer, that itself should be one of the targets in his assessment. And I'm sure if we also put that, he probably will also become uh, more creative in seeing mm -hmm. how we can drop that figure. That, that will be my suggestion. Maybe later, either she can quickly explain in a minute if it means, uh, you know, uh, what they have done. They've done quite a lot. Okay. That's the registrars, you know. I mean, if you can take one second, you can explain. What they're doing. Yes. Okay. We've done quite a lot. Since it is an issue that you've raised, I mean, it will be good for her. You know, maybe, we, maybe we, if you have any other question, if you don't have, she will explain. Yes, let me run through the other question and then she can be invited. Okay. I watched the donation structure, uh, several pages, in particular page 183, 185, and 84. We dropped our donation in the year on that review by 400 million naira. Yes, I know that this is not unrelated to the COVID that we had, and hence a huge sum went into the COVID year. But I think that going forward, uh, the approach should be, can we take the size that we donated in COVID year for COVID and then begin to do legacy projects across some of the countries that we are operating? Uh, because if COVID didn't come, I'm sure we won't spend that money. But now that COVID has opened our eyes, uh, to the size of inadequacy in our health system. It may be necessary that if all we have is Dangote Cement Hospital taking special area of health in one country at a time. I'm sure if we spend 1.5 billion that we spend on COVID in any of those countries, uh, they probably will seek uh, a song for their kingdom come. That is one of the things I'll be hoping that will happen. I also be hoping, coming from matters arising, on page 128, when this new auditors was coming, or rather before the new auditors came in, 
What we used to have was joint auditors. And this itself creates opportunity for the young shall grow, which I would rather prefer to call let help them grow auditors. Because if they also don't grow, uh, our contribution in that space will also be limited. So Chairman, uh, I'll be putting before the board uh, that we should begin to look at the possibility of having a joint. Yes, I know he has his own difficulty, but I'm sure the issue of experience uh, would much more be outstanding than the difficulties that will come our way as a company. Mr. Chairman, I also say this because if they get experience and they share out of the 700 million, almost, that you pay as audit fee, that itself would do some improvement to this. Uh, I can also confirm to you that I don't own any audit firm. By the way, I'm not even trained as an auditor. I don't know how to use calculator, so there's no way I'll be a beneficiary, but it's important that that is the way to go. Yeah, my Mr. Chairman, for the small ones. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I also think that the issue of power, uh, the way uh, Dr. Farouk took it, uh, should be taken a little much more. Uh, because if you look at page 128 and page 23, uh, cost of power climbed by 50 billion naira in the year under review. And from my estimate, the almost 200 billion that we paid in power in the year we probably will hit over 250 billion in 2022. So what I want to find out is what can we do in the smaller plants? Because you don't, you don't begin to practice a match uh, with the big occasion. You will start with this one. What is that we can do with the smaller plants, especially plants whose cost of power is also disproportional uh, to the activity of our organization? That will be helpful. Uh, and I, I'm saying this because looking at page 125 and 135, uh, volume went up yet, and we had in two years over 400 million investment in new assets. And one of the things I find in the new assets is that Ghana is a major beneficiary. But if you look at page 9 and page 12, what you will find is that Sierra Leone, Senegal, Gambia, and Ghana in particular are doing lower volumes. And when you then further look at Ghana, uh, Ghana is not a production center. Uh, so I'm wondering, what is exactly we want to do with Ghana? Uh, hence, the size of investment I've also brought into Ghana. Okay. And I didn't hear anything, Mr. Chairman, from you, uh, from two major areas that we've either two talked about in the past, and that is talking about our uh, movement into North Africa and Asia. Uh, so what is it that we're doing in those two locations? Uh, for me, it will be important uh, so as we can have a, a total picture of what we're doing. Mr. Chairman, let me close on the notes of the share by Oh, we have that other is, people. Please allow other people to, to ask questions because otherwise we'll be here all day. No, no, I'm sure they will not repeat the things that I've said. That will be one yeah, of the reasons. Yeah, but you know, you have to uh, give okay. other people yes. an opportunity. But let me close on the notes of the share buyback. What share buy, my understanding of share buyback is that we have taken some shares, uh, much more from the float, yes, less than 1%. But that itself by implication also means that our float has been further constrained. So what are we likely to do uh, going forward to be able to comply with the regulation of NGX as to the amount of float that we, we need as a company and hence to continue to qualify uh, as a listed company. Because this itself has an implication for our share price. That's what I'm asking. And I will, in that regard, I'll be, hoping that, I'll be hoping that going forward, uh, the five-year financial summary will also have a five-year end of share price so that this document can be complete in terms of reference. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I want to thank you uh, and wish our company the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, on donations, I think we've done quite a lot. You, you are right. Uh, we've done quite a lot in COVID, and also this year we are doing quite a lot in assisting in terms of uh, security. 
and uh, there are other areas that we have but maybe you know in our next budget we'll look into the other areas that you have uh, you know advice which is the legacy project maybe we increase because we are still doing quite a lot there uh, joint auditors you know uh, who've had their own uh, views we will uh, you know i can say yes i can say no so we we'll look at it as time progress on Ghana, we are building a grinding uh, station, you know, uh, grinding mill, which will be uh, supplied with clinker from Nigeria, because they don't have limestone. They have very few. So Ghana, hopefully, it will be ready this year. And, uh, you know, the other one you, uh, you know, spoke about was, you know, whether we are going to Asia, uh, North Africa, and co. Yes, in some North, most North African countries, they actually have over capacity, and there's no need for us to go and add into a place where there's an over capacity. You know, uh, Asia for now, uh, we are not looking at Asia for now. What we are trying to do is to consolidate where we are and keep, uh, you know, making, maximizing the use of our capacity that we have. Um, the float you are talking about, based on regulation of NGX, I think it's only 40 uh, billion uh, uh, naira. So unless if that has changed, so we have qualified much, much more than more than that. But you know, over 239 billion. Why the requirement is 40 billion? Yeah, so we have about 200, and almost 39.8 billion. You know, while the requirement is only 40 billion, and I would like you to encourage more Nigerians to participate in buying uh, shares through your own association. Uh, Ms. James, Ms. Cole, can you quickly explain? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Okay, I'll first um, state that the regulator has taken this as um, a um, responsibility and they called the issue the committee and ensured all the stakeholders performed their responsibilities um, from the stockbrokers to the registrars to the investors and that gave rise for all shareholders who are purchasing shares today and ensuring that they they um, complete their account details so today if you're um, buying shares. You cannot do that without completing your bank details and those information are forwarded to the registrars and that's for um, subsequent transactions. In um, reaching out to the legacy transactions, what we as an organization did was to get database of everybody that had clearing house numbers, sent it to CSES and CSES was able to furnish us with their account details. I don't know, some people will bear us witness that um, unclaimed dividends that were not requested for were credited to shareholders and it was on that basis we were able to credit over 30,000 shareholders with um, their unclaimed dividends. We also have some shareholders with emails who do not have account details. We've also sent a blast to those shareholders to complete the mandate form so that their unclaimed dividends will be paid. We also went as far as um, reaching out to our clients to display a list of unclaimed dividends on their own um, websites after doing that on our website such that if the shareholder is able to access the client's website they can also complete the mandate form on that website that way we are going to be um, able to pay on claim dividends i don't know if it suffices to say that upon every dividend um, payment over 90 percent goes out to shareholders on that day unfortunately the pyramid has um, shareholders who have lower dividends and um, the highest number and that's why we keep having unclaimed dividends with the increasing number of dividends that we pay we are um, following through and we're going to continue to explore different ways to ensure that shareholders um, dividends and unclaimed dividends are paid thank you thank you very much you still have more questions okay we
the chairman uh, board members our regulatory authorities here present my colleagues shareholders my name is Matthew Akinladi president of noble shareholders solidarity association good morning um, I'm not here to waste our time and I don't believe in repetition of what other people have said. But despite that, uh, when you see a good job, you have to commend it. For me, Dangote Cement has been doing a good job and it is the delight of investor. For me, I'm happy to invest in Dangote Cement because of their performance that have been sustained over the year. Uh, if you look at it this year, uh, if you look at page 100 and we look at the income statement, from turnover of 1 billion last year, that is 2020, we got to 1.4 billion. That's 40%. Uh, increase. Beyond that, we all know what the inflationary rate was last year. But despite the inflation of about 16 point something percent last year, we are able, and even the exchange rates, despite the increase uh, in exchange rate, we are able to manage our direct cost, such that gross profit too was 833 million from 596 million, which is also 40% increase in line with the increase in revenue. And if you go further, we look at profit before tax, profit after tax is plus plus. And I think we should congratulate you for it. So beyond that i believe our company is investor friendly i look at any per share this year and even last year this year 21 naira 24 kobo last year 16 naira 14 kobo and we paid virtually all as dividends dividend this year proposed is 20 kobo and 20 naira rather, sorry, 20 naira, and last year was 16 naira. Nearly all the earning per share is paid out as dividends. So I congratulate the board and the management and the workers that have been working assiduously to make this um, uh, achievement. One other thing I want to commend is the successful share buy back program. I believe, for me, it has positive impact on the market price of Dangote's cement shares to the advantage of the, of the investors. Yes, we, can, we need to watch uh, the floating requirement uh, to ensure that we, we manage things such that we are within, but it is uh, uh, quite uh, commendable and it's, it positively uh, affected uh, the value of our investment in, in Dangote Cement. On page 102, uh, one thing I note there, no, there are two things I noted there. Uh, when things are going on well, you still need to watch your back uh, to ensure that you manage every aspect of the business effectively. I look at the inventories uh, on page 102. From 108, it jumped to 167 million, which is 55% increase. I know our business is growing. And, and I know we need to stock to take advantage uh, of, the, of the demand. But I look at it, 55% increase in inventory is higher than 
increase in revenue. The increase in revenue was 40%. We need to look at it. I, I look at the trade and other receivable as well. It's increased from 35 million to 47 million. Uh, for me, that is still good uh, because it's just 34 percent growth in that. And when we compare that with the growth in business, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, within. The last thing I want to talk about is on the upsurge in demand for cement in Nigeria in particular and across um, Africa. I know we have done a lot to spread our tentacle beyond Nigeria. Uh, the first speaker mentioned that uh, uh, we are in about 10 countries, which is great. I, I think we should continue on that trajectory to take advantage of the business opportunities and grow and expand our business further. Finally, I console the board for the loss of one of you last year. Uh, like the first speaker said, he has made a lot of contribution to this company. We pray that God will uphold the family and uh, be with them and stand by them and stand by the company as well to fill the gap that he has left. Thank you and God bless. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Akiladi, and all for all your, uh, you know, kind words and areas where you raise issues who look at them. But, you know, on the inventory that you mentioned most specifically, is because at that time, end of the year, we imported quite a lot of, uh, you know, uh, coal and other areas, you know, and also low fuel oil for energy. But we'll keep looking at that. Yeah. Busy. Busy, can you not repeat if you can just ask something totally different so we can rush? We have already spent over an hour. Okay, sir. I stand on the existing protocol. My name is Mrs. B.C. Bakari. Much has been said by the earlier speaker. Therefore, I will be very brief. I want to specially commend our company, Dangote Cement PSC, being the first Nigeria listed company to report its financial results using SBRL formats which I believe will strongly benefit existing and potential investors in terms of access to company disclosures. Also, I congratulate our company, Dangote Cement PLC, for emerging the best performing stock in, uh, of the year 2021 by the Nigerian Exchange Group. Congratulations, sir. My first question is, what measures have you put in place to overcome the challenges of access to foreign exchange? Page 81. On page 81, where we have board of directors, I noticed that uh, the regulatory authorities requires that uh, we should have three independent uh, directors. But here in Dangote Cement, we have five independent uh, directors. This shows that uh, our board is proactive, and this is highly commendable. And lastly, on page 128, page 128, note 8, administrative expenses, where we have auditors' remuneration. Mr. Chairman, I don't have anything against auditors' remuneration, but if you look at the note B, under note B, where we have audit fees, for 2020, the audit fees was 524 million. This has increased to 652 million, 
within a year there is a difference of uh, 128 million on audit fee i want the board and the member of the audit committee to look at this going forward once again thank you for the opportunity given to me thank you mrs bc bakari uh We've heard all your comments and thank you so much for that. I think the audit uh, fees, you know, we, I think it's to do that we change our auditors also. And you know, because of inflation, uh, that's why. But we really negotiated very, very hard to agree and come to that particular figure. Uh, we'll engage them again and see if we can squeeze more. <laughs> okay, Mosu. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have only three items to discuss. Three. Only three things. So that I'll be in line with your sharp, sharp business. Okay. Yeah. I'd like to refer us to page 167. Share capital history. 167. This I want to take along with uh, the special business of the day. Mr. Chairman, I believe in creating this capital. We had to pay CAC some, a lot of money. And canceling the same capital, definitely we are going to lose the money we pay to CAC. So I think it is better for shareholders and the company to benefit from this money we've paid that cannot be recovered from the regulatory authorities. Which money? That's on page 167. The and the special business on the notice of the AGM. We talked about cancelling the unissued shares. And I look at the share capital history here. The last time we paid bonus was in 2012. I, I didn't hear that. You didn't hear that? Yeah, you said last... The last time we, we gave bonus to shareholders was 2012. 2012. Yeah. And now we are talking of cancelling the shares that have been registered with the regulatory authorities. I feel that cancelling it, though it is at the discretion of the board, but it does not benefit the shareholders, neither the company. Why don't we give bonus to shareholders from those shares we intend to cancel in order to take the benefit of the money we have paid in registering So you shares. want us to do bonus issue rather than uh, uh, buying back shares to cancel? Yes. You have option, Mr. Chairman. Mm. Part of it can be used to raise fresh funds. Part of it can be used to raise fresh funds and some can also be bonus to shareholders. We'll look at that. Okay. The second one is on page. You have been applauded for the disclosure in this annual report. But there's one aspect that I feel that if we had disclosed, it would have simplified the understanding of that page. Let us go to page 39. Which page? 39. 30. 39. 39, okay. If you look at the first item there, which is total direct CO emission and other things, it's telling us that it's saying here total production per location is showing 18 million 844221. Nigeria or Bajana. Six million one hundred and eighty one four eight three. What is missing there is just a comparison. That's all that is missing there that would have made it a greater disclosure to readers. When we put a figure, there must be a comparison to know what it was last year. Okay, we noted that will help us to really understand. Then finally, the third one is on unclaimed dividend, which is also stated. In the annual report here. Which page? I'm coming, Mr. Chairman. You know, the also now is not also of speed, it's slow, slow. It 
is actually telling us that uh, we're able to reduce unclaimed dividend. But I think we discussed that uh, the, uh, you know, unclaimed dividend. No, what I want to point out there is a good story. It's telling us that it was reduced by millions of naira. But we also referred to the website. The advice I want to give you now is that it's not all the shareholders that are shareholders of uh, Dankote Cement can go to websites. What you need to do to further help the registrars and the company secretary's office to reduce this is for us to print out on claim dividend, make it bold, and arrange it alphabetically. Some of the shareholders here will take it, identify any name, and call the person. You have an unclaimed dividend here than saying they should go to website or when you are printing on claim dividend you make small small letterage. Okay. So, well the registrars are here so I'm sure they will try and make sure they put that right where things can be you know yeah attend to. It's on page 83 of the annual report. You have another question again? That's the three I have. Okay. From, apart from that I really congratulate Dankote Cement, and I want to rely on the statement of the chairman where he said very importantly about the future, which also means that this future will bring more dividend to us, everything expected to be, because that's exactly the catching aspect of the annual report. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, for giving me the opportunity to... Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Okay, I think we've... Uh gone through quite a lot of questions. We're still on item one. Since there are no further questions, uh, we shall proceed. The first resolution is in respect of the audited financial statements. Will the shareholder kindly move that the annual, uh, uh, the annual report and accounts, including the audited financial statements for the year ended 31st December 2021, together with the reports of the directors, auditors, and the statutory audit committee there on B and are hereby accepted. Oh, it's too late. Okay. So we can just proceed. I now put the motion to, uh, you know, to a vote. Uh, you have what, 20. Seconds. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The voting period will last for 20 seconds, as he said. The voting has now commenced. Thank you. You can tell, you can maybe repeat one, the procedure, just quickly. Okay. So, um, the button one is for a yes vote, the button two is for a no vote, and the button three is for an abstain vote. You can now press your devices. And you can the start. session is opened. You can see the screen. You have 10 seconds, 7 seconds, 3 seconds, 2, this one, right? 1. The voting can now close. Thank you. Please be patient while we um, wait for the results to be displayed. The result is hereby displayed, and we have 761 shareholders holding 15,228,231,406, all voting in favor and representing 100%. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Following the uh, results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to accept the annual reports and accounts, including the audited financial assessment for the year ended 31st December 2021, together with the reports of the directors, auditors, and statutory audit committee thereon has been passed. Thank you. Item two. We now move to second item on the agenda, which is the declaration of a dividend. The board of directors has recommended that a dividend payment of 20 naira per share subject to withholding tax be declared in respect of the year ended December 31st, 2021 and made payable by 15th of June, 2022. 
Are there any questions, you know, to the motion, uh, I mean, before the motion is put to the meeting? No? Since there are no further questions or no questions at all, we shall proceed. Would the shareholder kindly move that a dividend of 20 naira per share subject to withholding tax be declared in respect of the year ended December 31st, 2021? My name is Obina Owusu. I move the motion. Thank you, Obina. Uh, I now put the motion to a vote. You have 20 seconds to vote. Please cast your vote after, you know, the uh, register explained. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We can now commence voting in line with our decisions. We already have the results for proxies who were earlier submitted. Shareholders present should please use their voting devices. We have eight seconds to go. Six, four, three, two, one. The voting session can now close. Thank you. And then we have 761 shareholders and holding 15 billion. 228,231,406 shares representing 100% who have all voted in favor of the resolution. Thank you. Following the results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to declare a dividend of 20 naira per share a result of the period ended December 31st, 2021 has been passed. The next item is the election and re-election of uh, companies uh, or re-election of directors. Before we proceed further, I would like to mention that the register uh, of directors attendance at the board meetings during the period under review is available for inspection in accordance with section 284 subsection 2 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act. At this meeting, Abdul Dantata, Sherry Blair, CBE, QC, uh, Michael Davis, Biswanathan Shankar, and I are retiring from the uh, board in accordance with section 285 of the Companies and Allied Matters uh, Act. And being eligible, have offered ourselves up for re election. In addition, in the course of the year, Mr. Philip Matthew and uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Halima Ali Kodangote were appointed as directors. In accordance with the Companies and Allied Matters Act, uh, their appointments are to be approved at this meeting. Uh, are there any questions before the motion are put to the meeting? Since there are no questions, we shall proceed. As I am one of the directors retiring by rotation at this meeting, I will now hand over to the Chairman of the Remuneration, Nomination and Governance Committee, Mr. Emmanuel Ikazabo, to take over the proceedings for my re-election as a director. Mr. Ikazabo. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly let us proceed with the re-election of Alaji Aliko Dangote. Would a shareholder please rise and, mo and move the motion that, Ms. that Aliko Dangote, GCON, be and is hereby re-elected as a director of the company. Thank you, Dr. Farouk, Mr. Matthew. Mr. Chairman, I move the motion that yeah. Alaji Aliko Dangote be re-elected as a director of this company in view of the good performance we always have from the company. Thank you. Okay. So can the under shareholder second the motion? Matthew Akinlade. I, Matthew Akinlade, I stand to second that motion. Thank you. Okay. I now put the motion to a vote. You have 20 seconds to vote. Please cast your votes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We can please use our voting devices. 
to vote in line with our decisions. We have 15 seconds to go. Okay, I understand only those we have as proxies can vote. So, Ms. Ms. Bakari. Thank you, sir. My name is Mrs. B.C. Bakari. I second the motion. Okay. So we'll put in the vote now. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The vote can continue. We would have five seconds to go. Four. Three. Two. One. The voting can now close. We have 760 shareholders holding 15 billion, 227 million, 543,906, representing 99.9999%. And we have one shareholder who has voted against and holding 600, 687,500 million. 500 representing 0.00099%. Thank you. Thank you. The result indicates that majority carries it, and therefore, following the results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to re-elect Aliko Dangote CEO, GCON as the director of the company has been passed. Having been re-elected as a director, I now hand over to the chairman to continue the proceedings of this general meeting. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Emmanuel Ikazebo, uh, and to our distinguished shareholders. I thank you all for re-electing me as your director. Uh, re-election uh, of Abdul Tata, would the shareholder please rise and move the motion that Abdul Tata be and is hereby re-elected as a director of the company. Yes, sorry. I hereby support the motion. You, you have moved the motion, okay. Can somebody please second the motion, please? Mr. Chairman, my name is Brigadier General Dayo Ade Shogun. I so second the motion. It's only those who were named as proxies in the notice that can second and move. As long as you are a shareholder. Anyway, I now put the I now put the motion to a vote. You have 20 seconds to vote. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We can now use our various devices to vote in line with our decisions. Thank you. We have 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, Two, one. The voting can now close. The result is hereby displayed, and we have 760 shareholders holding 15 billion, 214 million, 930,893, representing 99.91 percent. Yeah. And we have one shareholder who has voted against and holding 13 million three hundred thousand five hundred and thirteen and representing zero point zero nine percent thank you thank you very much following the results of the voting as announced by the registrar i hereby declare that the resolution to re-elect abdon tata as a director of the company has been passed re-election of uh, michael davis 
All the shareholders, please rise and move the motion that Michael Davis be and is hereby re-elected as a director of the company. Thank you very much, Mr. Bakari. Will another shareholder please rise and second this motion? My name is Obina Owusu. Thank you, Obina. I now put the motion to a vote. You have 20 seconds to vote. Please cast your votes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Please let's um, cast our votes using our devices in line with our voting decisions and options. We would have 10 seconds more to close the session. Seven seconds to go, five seconds to go, three, two, one. The voting can now close. Mm -hmm. And so we have displayed 757 shareholders holding 15 billion, 204 million. 65,457 representing 99.84 percent and we have four shareholders holding 24 million 165,949 shares representing 0 0.16 percent who have voted against the resolution thank you thank you very much following the results of the voting as announced by the registrar I hereby declare that the resolution to re-elect Michael Davis as a director of the company has been passed. Uh, Re-election of Biswanathan Shankar. Would a shareholder uh, please rise and move the motion of that Biswanathan Shankar be and is hereby re-elected as a director of the company? Give uh, Dr. Farouk the... Mr. Chairman, I so move. Okay, so please, another shareholder. Mr. Mr. Chairman, I second that motion. Thank you very much. Sorry. I now put the motion to a vote. You have 20 seconds to vote, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Please, let's use our voting devices to vote in line with our decisions. We'll do 10 seconds to go, seven seconds, five, four, three, two, one. The, vote, the voting session can now close. Thank you. And we have our results displayed. 761 shareholders holding 15 billion, 228 million, 231,406 shares, all voting in favor and representing 100%. Thank you. Following the uh, results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to re elect. Biswanathan Shankar as a director of the company has been passed. Re-election of Sherry Blair, CEQC. Would the shareholder please rise and move the motion that Sherry Blair, CBEQC, be and is hereby re-elected as a director of the company. Mr. Chairman, my name is Brigadier General Adesha Gondayo. I so moved. Thank you. Will another shareholder please rise and second this motion? Obina Wilson. Thank you, Obina. I now put the motion to a vote. You have uh, 20 seconds to vote. Please register. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The voting session is now opened. We request that you kindly vote in line with your decisions using the voting devices that you have been provided with this morning. We will do six seconds to close the votes. Five, four, three, two, one. Please note that there's a brief letter sent period. We can close the vote now. Thank you. We have 761 shareholders holding 15 billion. 228,231,400 shares, all voting in favor and representing 100%. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
406 shares fully um, voted in favor and representing 100 percent. Thank you. Thank you. Following the results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution uh, to re-elect Sherry Blair CVE QC as a director of the company has been passed. Uh, appointment of Philip Matthew. Would a shareholder please rise and move the motion that Philip Matthew be an by appointed as a director of the company? Okay, thank you. Can you second it, please? I do second that motion. Thank you very much. I now put the motion to a vote. You have 20, well, you know, the registrar will tell you what to do. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Please let's um, commence the voting process. We request that you press your voting devices in line with your voting decisions. We have 10 seconds to go. Eight, six, five, four, three, to and the session can now end. Thank you. The results are hereby displayed, and we have 761 shareholders holding 15 billion, 228 million, 231 thousand, 406 shares, representing 100 percent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Following the results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to appoint Philip Matthew as a director of the company has been passed. Appointment of Halima Ali Kudongote. Will a shareholder please rise and move the motion that Halima Ali Kudongote be and is hereby appointed as a director of the company? Missy? Thank you very much, BC. Was somebody with I, another shareholder? I also please. second that motion. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Chief Sonia Mosu. Uh, I now put the motion to a vote. Thank uh, you, Mr. Let Chairman. Me hand over to the register. Can we use our voting devices? We'll do that in 10 seconds, eight seconds to go. Six seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and the voting session can now end. Thank you. And we have the results displayed as 761 shareholders voted in favor and holding 15 billion, 228 million, 231,406 shares representing 100 percent. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Uh, following the results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to appoint Halima Likodongoti as a director of the company has been passed. Uh, maybe a director can, uh, you know, maybe, Philip, can I call on you to... Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, my fellow directors, esteemed shareholders, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of myself and my fellow directors, appointed and re-elected, thank, we thank you for this great honor and responsibilities that have been bestowed upon us today. We will continue to do our very best under the leadership of our chairman to keep Dangote Cement PLC at the forefront of the industry in Africa and Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, now to item uh, agenda number four. Next is the remuneration of auditors. Section uh, uh, section 408, subsection one of the Companies and Allied Matters Act request that their remuneration shall be fixed by the company in general meeting or in such manner as the company in uh, general meeting may determine. Are there any questions before the motion is put to the meeting? Okay, thank you. Since there are no questions, 
we shall proceed. Will the shareholder kindly move that the directors be and are hereby authorized to fix remuneration and expenses of the auditors in respect of the year ending December 31st, 2022? Mr. Thank you very much. Uh, can somebody also second the, the uh, motion? Okay, I now put the motion to, uh, you know. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Kindly let's um, use our various devices in voting on exercising our rights. We will do this in eight seconds. Seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. This session can now end. Thank you. Thank you. And the result is hereby displayed. We have 759 shareholders voting in favor and holding 15 billion 228 million. 231,220 shares representing 99.9999 and approximately 100. And then we have one shareholder holding 26 units, a um, percentage of 0.999%. And we also have another shareholder who has abstained and holding 160 shares representing 0.00009. Percent. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Cole. Following the results of the voting as announced by the Registrar, I hereby declare that the resolution to authorize the directors to fix the remuneration and expenses uh, of the auditors in respect of the year ending December 31st, 2022 has been passed. We we'll now go to item agenda number five. The next item on the agenda is the election of shareholders representatives, uh, representatives of the statutory audit committee, section 404, subsection three of the Companies and Allied Matters Act provides that a maximum of five members of the statutory audit committee consisting of two directors and three representatives of the shareholders be elected at an annual general meeting. The Act further provides that in case of the election of the shareholders' representatives, nomination should be received no later than 21 days before the date of the meeting. The Board of Directors have nominated the following directors for election as members of the Audit uh, Committee. One, the first person in Mr. Ernest Ebi, MFR, and Mr. Olakule Alake. Since the board has made the valid nomination as required by the Companies and Allied Matters Act, there is no need to vote on them. I hereby declare that the two directors are hereby appointed as members of the statutory audit committee of Dangote Cement PLC. Ladies and gentlemen, there are three more seats on the statutory audit committee to be filled in accordance with section 404 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act as of May 24, 2022, 151 nominations were received by the company, by the company's secretary from the shareholders of, uh, for the, I mean from the shareholders for election as members of the statutory audit committee. Of this, 145 candidates have withdrawn their nominations or are invalid. The remaining six nominees, therefore, are one, Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi, Mr. Sheriff Yusuf Mojirola, Mr. Nicholas Nyamali, Ms. Iola Oluwa Toyin Olufunke, Mr. Adideji Olalekan Ismail, 
and then the number six is Mr. Odutola Samson Bankole. Are there questions before the election commence? Uh, okay, so since there are no questions, uh, we will now start, uh, you know, by the nomination of Mr. Ade Odiachi. The register, I think you, you can now. Thank, thank you, call, Mr. Call Chairman. One by one. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will be calling out the names of all the nominees and then we will be um, voting in line with our choices. Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi, Mr. Sheriff Yusuf Mujirola, Mr. Nicholas Nyamali, Mrs. Iyola Uluwatoi Olufunke, Mr. Ade Deji Olalekon Ismail, and Mr. Odutola Samson Bankoli. So I will call their names one by one and we will raise our hands, the shareholders and proxies in front, and then we will count the votes and then um, give our results. All those in favor of Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi, please raise your hands. Thank you. Can we have. Um, the registrars counting the number of votes. Thank you. Are we done? Thank you. Mr. Diachi, thank you. All those in favor of Mr. Sheriff Yusuf Mujirola, can we raise our hands? Thank you. All those in favor of Mr. Nicholas Nyamali, can we please raise our hands? Thank you. All those in favor of Ms. Iola Uluwatoyi Olufunke, can we please raise our hands? I think I saw a vote here. Did you raise your hand, sir? Okay. Only shareholders' proxies are bent to vote. Thank you. All those in favor of Mr. Ade Deji Olalekon Ismail, can you please raise your hand? Thank you. All those in favor of Mr. Udutola Samson Bankole, can we please raise your hands? Thank you. So the voting session for the audit committee is hereby concluded. We will read out the results shortly. Okay, so the result is hereby. Um, for Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi, we have nine votes. For Mr. Sharif Yusuf Mojirola, we have nine votes. For Mr. Nicholas Ndiamali, we have nine votes. For Mr. Iyola Uluwatoi Olufunke, we have a nil vote recorded. For Mr. Ade Dejiola Likon Ismail, we have a nil vote recorded. And for Mr. Ojola Samson Bankoli, we have a nil vote recorded. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Following the results of the election, will the shareholder kindly move that the following people with the highest votes be and are hereby elected as members of the statutory audit committee to serve until the conclusion of the next AGM. One, Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi. Two, Mr. Sheriff Yusuf Mojirola. Number three, Nicholas Inyamali. Yeah, also. I, I saw something also. I moved the motion as read by the chairman. Thank you. Will another shareholder please rise and second this motion, please? General Deshogan retired. I supported the motion. Thank you. Will all those in favor of this motion please signify by raising their right hands? 
Will anyone objecting to this motion please signify by raising your right hand? As there are no objecting motions, I hereby declare that the following people uh, be and are hereby elected as members of the statutory audit uh, committee until the conclusion of the next AGM. One is Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi. Number two is Mr. Sheriff Yusuf Majurola. Number three is Nicholas Nyamali. Dear shareholders, I hereby present you the members of the statutory audit committee who will serve until the conclusion of uh, the next AGM. They are Mr. Ernest Ebi, MFR. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Olakule Alake. Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi. Then the next is uh, Mr. Sheriff Yusuf Mojurola. Then next is Mr. Uh, 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 Mr. Nicholas Inamali. Uh, please join me in congratulating the members of the statutory audit committee while wishing them the best in the service of our company. Item. Okay, we will. The next item on the agenda is the disclosure of remuneration of uh, managers. Section 257 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act provides that the compensation of managers shall be disclosed to uh, members at the annual general meeting. Accordingly, I hereby disclose that this item has been provided for on pages 128 to 129 of the annual reports and accounts. Thank you. Agenda item number seven. The next item on the agenda is an ordinary re uh, resolution for the approval of the remuneration for the directors. The directors are proposing the sum of five million naira per annum for the chairman and four million naira per annum for each non-executive director. These are the same amounts as in the preceding year. Are there questions before the motion is put to the meeting? Since there are no questions, uh, would a shareholder kindly move that the remuneration of the chairman of five million naira and that of remuneration of non-executive directors uh, of four million naira for each of the non-executive directors for their ending December 31st, 2022, be and is hereby approved. I second that motion, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Well, you, you move the motion. I think we need somebody uh, you, to... You have moved, so... Oh, okay, yes. That's so right. I okay, second well, it. Thank you very much. I now put the motion to a vote. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Please, yes, let's use our various voting devices to vote in line with our decisions. We'll do this in 10 seconds. Eight seconds to go. Six seconds to go. Four, three, Two, one. The voting session will now close. Thank you. Thank you very much. The result is hereby displayed, and we have 761 shareholders holding 15 billion 228 million 231 thousand 406 shares, representing 100 percent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Is called. Following the results of the voting as announced by the Registrar, I hereby declare that the ordinary resolution to approve the remuneration of the Chairman of 5 million Naira and of the non-executive directors of 4 million Naira each for the year ending December 31st, 2022 has been passed. Observation, okay. Chairman, I will be appealing to our registrar, uh, sorry, our auditors, 
if you look at page 90, the classification that they have there says director's fee and allowances. But if you go and look at page 129, you will then again find that what we have there. We can't hear you. On page 129, yeah. what you have there again is a lump sum position. Uh, so probably going forward, it may be necessary that they do another line indicating director's fee as distinct from other remuneration. So that way, when a presentation like this is made, it becomes clearer to everybody. Oh, look at it. is put now, it is not. All right, thank you. Thank you. Following the, I think we've already passed that, right? Hmm? The next item on the agenda is a special resolution uh, for the cancellation of and issued shares an amendment of the memorandum of articles of association of the company as approved by the board and pursuant to section 12124 companies and allied matters act karma 2020 and uh, regulation 13 of the company's regulation 2021 by the kind permission of the meeting i would like to request that agenda uh, agenda 8 which is subdivided into sections 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, 8.4, and 8.5 be taken together in one motion. If agreed, will a shareholder please move a motion in that regard? Okay, Ms. B.C. Bakari. Thank you. Will another shareholder please rise and second this motion? Thank you, Dr. Paru. Are there questions before the motion to cancel the unissued shares and amend the memorandum of article of association of the company is put to the meeting? Since there are no questions, would a shareholder kindly move the motion that the general meeting consider and if, fit, if thought fit, pass the following special resolution. 8.1, the unissued share capital of the company be and is hereby cancelled pursuant to section 124 companies and allied matters act karma 2020 and regulation 13 of the company's regulations uh, 2021 8.2 following the recommendation of the board of directors and in line with article 10 of the company's memorandum of articles of association as well as compliance with the section 124 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Karma 2020, and Regulation 13 of the Companies Regulations 2021, to cancel all unissued shares amounting to 2,959,409,000 596 <clears throat> shares of 50 Kobo each and uh, treasury shares amounting to 166,948,153 shares of 50 Kobo each. 8.3 Pursuant to section 10 of the company's memorandum and uh, articles of association and in compliance with the requirement of section 12. 124 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Karma 2020, and Regulation 13 of the Companies Regulations 2021, to declare that the shares, the share capital of the company is 16 billion 873 million 559,251 shares of 50 Kobo each. Uh, 8.4 to amend Article 6 of the Memorandum uh, uh, of the Memorandum and Articles of Association of the Company as follows. The share capital of the company is 8 billion naira, 8 billion, uh, is naira 8 billion 436,779,626 uh, divided into 16,800, uh, 16 billion 
151 ordinary shares of 50 kobo each. 8.5 uh, to authorize the company uh, to authorize the company board of directors to take all necessary steps to effect the cancellation of an issued and treasury shares in compliance with the extant laws and regulations. Would uh, another shareholder please rise and second this motion? Mr. Chairman, I'm General Deshong. I so support the motion. Second the motion? I so so second the motion. All right. Thank you very much. I now put the motion to a vote. Company, I mean, thank, a register, thank, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We would ask that we exercise our voting um, rights using the devices. We will do this in 10 seconds. We we'll have eight seconds to go. Please let's um, exercise our rights. Six seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Close. The session will now end. Thank you. And then we have 761 shareholders holding 15 billion, 228 million, 231,406 shares, all voting in favor and representing 100%. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Uh, Cole. Following the results of the voting as announced by the registrar, I hereby declare that the special resolutions 8.1, 8.2, 8.3, 8.4, and 8.5 have been passed. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, come to the end of the agenda. On behalf of the board, I thank you for your attendance at this meeting and wish you, I mean, I wish to express our appreciation uh, for your continued interest and support for our company over the years. Uh, you may take a leave after the closing uh, prayers, you know, but now I'll call on uh, somebody to, uh, you know, to lead us in uh, closing prayer. Uh, no, no, I will. And then after your prayers, after the prayers, then we have the national anthem. May we be upstanding for the prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father Lord, we want to thank you for the gift of life. We also want to thank you for the opportunity for us to deliberate on the life of our company, Dangote Cement. Father, we ask that we have your hands in all that we do and that you continually help us to make progress as a people, as a con country, and as a company. All these we ask through Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The National Anthem, please. 